for 18 homicides in 2022, the number is down to seven in 2023. That's according to WFPD Sergeant Charlie Iper, and still no arrests in a few of those cases. Dylan Jimenez joins us now. So Dylan, I know police are still seeking information there. They are, and both homicides happened in June, and police still need help in solving these cases. In the span of five days, the Wichita Falls Police received two murder cases, both which no arrests have been made yet. The first being on June 13th. Investigators found Martin Cervantes in a grass field near MOK in Carolina with a fatal gunshot wound. No other information has been released. Then on June 18th, police responded to Country Park Apartments about gunshots and they found Marcus Wilson shot. He was taken to United Regional where he later died from his injuries. Although two cases head into 2024 with no arrests made, Sergeant Charlie Iper says that seven murders this year, he's glad to see the numbers lower than previous years. We are um, confident that, th that this kind of number here, the citizens aren't as alarmed. Um, we, we hate losing our brothers and sisters in the city to, any, uh, to murder like that in any way at any time. But we know we also we have to have reasonable expectations. We're doing the best that we can. Investigating each case to the fullest, like the arrest of Adrian Vetter for the alleged murder of 10-month-old S.J. Mitchell on Becky Drive. Joanne Frank was allegedly shot and killed by her husband, Cedric Sarton, on Independence Day. About a month investigation revealed Sarton as the suspect even after he shot himself. WFPD also investigated a murder-suicide on November 21st near Rock Island at LB Drive. While none seem drug-related, Iper says educating the public and strong prosecution are contributing factors in keeping incidents down. I'm very proud of our police department with the, the aggressive investigation. The D district attorney's office have taken it seriously, you know, led by John Gillespie and prosecuting these criminals. And I, I, I definitely think that that's what's helped um, with our success this year. As the department works to keep numbers down and residents safe in 2024. To read about each murder and death, go to TexomasHomePage.com for all the stories. Okay, Dylan, thanks so much for that report.